Well, hello, chaps. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to the vloggity section of my channel, I guess. Uh, so I've been trying to do more of these vloggy type videos where I just kind of talk about my day and stuff, as opposed to streaming. Not uh, Sorry that I haven't streamed the past few days. I wanted to stream tonight, but I got off work late, and then I wanted to make this video because I have big, awesome news. Big life news that affects me in a huge way. So let's just jump right into that. So I get a call from my dad this morning. My dad happens to be a master electrician. He's been doing it for like over 30 years now. And uh, he has been working with my stepbrother for a couple years now. My stepbrother has been an apprentice electrician to my dad. And I am the youngest son. I have two older brothers. Uh, they have both worked with my dad in the past and been apprentices. And then my dad got remarried and now I have a stepbrother and then he was an apprentice and I've never actually been offered an apprenticeship before with my dad. Like, I'm sure if I had like pushed for it, I could have gotten one, you know, it's not like you know, I've had to wait all this time, but he calls me up and he's like, Hey, your stepbrother just got married. He's going back to school. He's not going to be working with me anymore. So I really need an apprentice and I'm, you want to talk numbers? Are you interested in becoming an electrician? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that sounds pretty interesting because uh, something that I've been thinking about a lot lately um, is getting into trade school, starting to learn a trade. I was thinking about getting into welding classes. I was thinking about making a video about that these past couple weeks um, and uh, seeing if anybody had any, any advice. But yeah, then this uh, this trade apprenticeship just falls right in my lap. And uh, it, he was even willing to work with me on like the, the pay. And I would uh, start out making essentially what I make right now so that I wouldn't have to take a pay cut. And I would get a $2 an hour raise every six months, capping out at $25 an hour. And I know y'all are from across the pond and other places, but living in California, that would be more than I've ever made at a job before. And, uh, yeah, that'd be really cool. Plus, you know, the last time I was making that kind of money, I was having to deal with thousands of customers, well, not thousands, hundreds and hundreds of customers a day in the grocery business. And I got out of that because I hated that business. And uh, in, in this business, I would only have to work with, you know, maybe two or three customers a day, sometimes zero. You know, if it was a big job, you just kind of show up and you do your construction work and that would be really cool. Plus just being an electrician, you know, that's kind of a cool sounding job. Like it's like you're controlling lightning. You're like making little roads for lightning to travel through. Uh, so people can have power in their homes. And uh, I'm just, I'm just really excited. And I had to share this with you guys. <laughs> Things you guys might be wondering, is this going to affect the channel in any ways? Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet because I'm not doing it yet, but ideally it's not going to affect the channel negatively at all. And in the long term, it's going to affect it positively. In the short term, I should be keeping relatively the same hours. I wake up at 7 a.m. right now. I go to work at 8. I'm off at usually 4.30. So I have a couple hours after work to do channel related stuff. It would be essentially the same schedule Monday through Friday. So in that respect, it wouldn't be changing. Uh, when I'm brand new at it, I'm probably going to be, you know, feeling a little bit more stressed out, overwhelmed, wanting to focus more energy on learning this trade because there is a lot to learn. So we might see a, a minor dip in uh, my focus at that time, but that shouldn't be anything that lasts. And more to the point, I will be making more money after about a year or so than I am now. And one of the big things that's holding me back with the channel right now, I've, I've kind of reached a plateau uh, with where I'm at other than working on my editing skills. But even then it's, it all really just comes down to money. It's like everything that I want to do with the channel to continue to move it forward comes down to resources, time and having more money to spend on games, on, uh, equipment. You know, I really want to get some video cameras so I can start making little unique little more like skit videos, you know, funny stuff with my friends and going out in public and recording because all I have right now is my cell phone, uh, which is why I don't really do that because recording on a cell phone sucks. It's all like, you know, you know how it is. So in the long term, uh, you know, we could see a lot of improvements to the channel and, you know, I could learning construction skills is definitely going to help me build a better 
recording studio than this. This was just my first attempt at doing it ever. And, you know, I could do my own professional lighting, like have that nice Markiplier lighting in the background where it's all shaded and glowy and it glints off my hair so lustrously. Can you imagine my, my beard just flecked with purple tinged lighting? Wouldn't that be lovely? So yeah, um, in, in the long term, this should be a really positive thing for the channel. Uh, yeah, so there's that. God, one thing I am going to miss about my current job, though, probably easily my favorite thing about my job, actually, is that I get to listen to audiobooks all day right now. I just drive around in a truck. I'm in the truck for at least five, five, and five to six hours a day. I'm just driving between my town, Auburn, and Sacramento, and uh, just listening to audiobooks, and that's been amazing. I've listened to so freaking many audiobooks. I eat one like every three days. I'm like, om nom nom, new book. <laughs> and on that note, I just restarted the King Killer Chronicles. So if you're into like fantasy style books, like you've enjoyed The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, The Golden Compass, you know, that that type of genre, the, the Chronicles of Narnia, I would highly recommend the King Killer Chronicles. There's two of them out right now. And I just absolutely devoured them. They're super long, but they're freaking incredible. Like, I'm, I'm listening to them over again. The first one is called The Name of the Wind, in case you want to look that up for yourself. And uh, I, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but you can get the audiobooks for free on YouTube. So there's that. That's how I listen to them. I mean, I love Audible, and I would love to support the creator, but that shit's expensive, and I have exactly negative no money. So I, yeah, if you wanted to listen to those books with me, that's what I'm doing right now. So, uh, or if you have read them, let's talk about it down below because I'm having such a good time reading them. That was The Name of the Wind, in case you want to want to listen to that one yourself or read it. Well, I don't think I had anything else to tell you guys about. Uh, so that was just kind of my day. Big deal. Really wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, if you want to give me advice, congratulations, anything at all, please leave me a comment down below. I would absolutely love that. Um, if you could like the video before you go, it does help the channel grow. I would really, really, really appreciate that too. And I love your guys' faces. Beard heart. And I will see you next time. And I'm definitely going to do a stream tomorrow. I promise. I promise. I know it's been like four days, but there's just been shit going on. I promise. We will stream tomorrow unless I break a leg. Bye.